now at 10, justice for Sierra Guyton. Two men are now arrested for the playground shooting that critically injured a 10-year-old girl. That shooting has angered the police and the community. Tonight, another big step in this investigation. 18-year-old Sylvester Lewis and a 28-year-old man are behind bars. We have team coverage. We begin with Shannon Sims at Children's Hospital. Shannon. Sierra remains here at Children's Hospital. Now her father tells me even as he is seeing small improvements daily, he is elated to know that two criminals are now off the streets. One week ago today, bullets sprayed the playground of Clark Elementary, hitting Sierra Guyton in the head. Yes, I'm angry and I'm hurt. But on this Wednesday, that anger quickly turned to joy when Sabrina Perry learned two men are now in custody in connection with shooting her 10-year-old niece. Justice has been served and I am very pleased. In a criminal complaint, Sylvester Lewis admitted to firing his gun toward a crowded playground. The 18-year-old claims while riding his bike on Clark Street, he was confronted by a guy for stealing his kid's clothes from his baby's mama. It is then Lewis says another guy showed a gun and threatened to kill him. I never hear a serious reason for this kind of stuff and that don't sound like serious for somebody to be you know, laid up in the hospital fighting for their life. So I'm, I'm definitely glad they they got these guys. Sierra's father heard of the second arrest while returning home from the hospital this afternoon. She's a strong girl. She kind of moved today, so, you know, it made me feel a little better. You know, and due to this news, I'll be able to sleep tonight. Definitely good news for the Guyton family. But what is also disturbing about this case is that Lewis told police he sold the gun that he used in that shooting for $250 on the south side. As far as the second man arrested in this case, the DA is reviewing those charges. Reporting in Wauwatosa, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4. Thanks, Shannon.